Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full face of makeup from the TikTok shop. I'm so excited to film this video because I have an entire full face of makeup from the TikTok shop. So if you guys do not know what the TikTok shop is, I'm sure you all know what TikTok is. They have a separate part of the app where you can shop from and a lot of people can advertise products on there and they can make a certain commission off of that. I have an entire full face to the side of me and it all came to around 35 or $40, which is honestly so cheap for a full face. Definitely one of the cheapest I filmed and I actually did end up getting quite a lot of stuff and I also did do my skin prep off camera before I filmed this hence why my skin is kind of greasy and oily looking but let's go ahead and go through all of the products that I ended up buying I actually did kind of forget what I did buy so this will be new for all of us the first thing I got is this eyebrow cream let's go ahead and unbox this this will be also an unboxing video too because I didn't take anything out of the package okay and this this is from the brand Giacomo. I'm just gonna show you guys the packaging rather than trying to pronounce the brand names because most of the stuff I cannot really pronounce. Next thing I ended up getting is this Smooth Makeup Setting Honey Powder from that same brand as well, Gemco. I got, I actually have no clue what this is what it looks like. So let's open it and find out what this is. This is a little tri palette of concealers. This is a hydrating face primer and it's so small. Oh my god, let's take it out. What? It's so tiny, but it's also pink, so how cute. And this I'm actually super excited for. It is a contour and blush palette. Stop. That looks so cool. I also got a little mini lip oil. This is so funny. It's literally so small. Everything is so extremely hard to open, or maybe I'm just stupid. That could be it as well. I actually don't remember getting this, but this is an amazing lips set. I'm pretty sure it's a blush stick that I got and it's a little heart. And this is the highlighter. It's like a super icy kind of highlighter. And then I also got this huge package of just beauty blenders, powder puffs, and it also has some brushes at the bottom. I also got this eyeshadow palette. It looks so cute. I absolutely love the design. Okay. I don't remember this either. And this is a mascara. This is so weird. It's like super thin. And then I also got a full coverage foundation. And you guys know I do not like foundation that much, but I think this was like $6, so I'm like, why not? And this actually looks the best quality out of everything. And then finally, I think, is this lipstick box set. But now let's go ahead and try out all of the makeup. I'm actually so excited. Hopefully this makeup slays, so we will see. And the first thing we're gonna do is try out the Hydro Grip Primer. I'm assuming that this is a dupe for the Milk one. I've actually never tried the Milk one, but I've tried the e.l.f. Power Grip one, which I heard is like the same thing. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my face. And if this primer is bad, then the whole makeup routine is gonna be bad. So let's hope that that is not the case. And this is a lot thinner than the e.l.f. one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this sink into my skin for a little bit. And while we do that, we're gonna go ahead and open up the Beauty Tools kit. And there's also mini beauty blenders too, which is so cute. Now that the primer kind of set into my skin, it doesn't feel as tacky as the e.l.f. one. I'm kind of comparing it to that because it's the only thing I really can compare it to. Oh, it also comes with a brush cleaner too. That's really nice because I do not have one of those, which is quite bad. This is the beauty blender. I'm gonna go ahead and wet this real quick and I'm gonna be right back. It's also really cute because it all matches. So it definitely expanded a lot and I love the feel of this. It almost feels kind of like a stress ball. Like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like a regular beauty blender. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the foundation. This is the peach full coverage foundation. And I actually don't know if this is gonna be my shade because I can't even pick out my shade in store, let alone trying to figure out what it would be online. Yeah, this might be too dark. Okay, this is definitely not my shade by any means. Maybe if I came back to this in the summer, it would be. 
But as of right now, this is just extremely orange. So far, it doesn't feel too hydrating, which is already something I cannot stand. It does go on really nice. I would say this is more of a matte foundation and it does say it's full coverage and I can definitely see that it is. It's just definitely not hydrating whatsoever. It doesn't look as bad on camera, but in person, it just looks so orange. And the Beauty Blender is really nice, actually. I do like the Beauty Blender a lot. I love how soft it is, but the finish actually isn't terrible. So that's not bad. I think before concealer today, we're gonna do contour slash bronzer So these are what the shades look like you actually have a really nice selection I'm kind of thinking this one right here It's kind of orange, but but these two are way too dark for me And I think we should use one of our brushes to blend it out This is gonna be the closest thing I can find to a bronzer slash contour brush Oh, okay. I definitely wouldn't say it's that pigmented, but I am kind of building it up really nicely, so that's a good thing. I might use a little bit of a darker shade actually and see if that does anything. I honestly do not mind the pigment on it because sometimes I find myself going overboard with the bronzing and it just looks very muddy and just dis disgusting. This just takes a lot of building up, which kind of sucks. Like I'm gonna be here for another 30 years doing this, but the hair is coming off of the brush. I'm like, what is all of this hair in the palette? But let's go ahead and move on to concealer. I'm gonna be using this little palette right here. I feel like out of everything, this is gonna be the shade that is most like my skin. But, oh my God, okay. I've been seeing these little beauty blenders or powder puffs everywhere. They are so cute and tiny and I wanna use it to apply the concealer. I think that would be so fun. This is incredibly thick. Like, what? I'm just gonna start off with this much because I don't know how full coverage it is. Oh wow, that is so drying. This is just, <laughs> it's not blending out that well. Oh my God, this is terrible. You know, it looks a little better after just working with it a lot, but at this point, why do you wanna have to put dirt and sweat into applying makeup? Like, it should be so seamless and easy, but this just took me forever. But now I wanna go ahead and try out the blush in that same palette. I don't know if I wanna use the brushes from the set because I don't really think I wanna be covered in brush hair. We're just gonna use one of the brushes in the container. I feel like we have to. Maybe this one will be better. I don't really think this is a blush brush, but we will figure it out. And these are the shades. You guys already know I'm gonna be picking this one. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, that's actually pigmented. I did not expect that to be as pigmented as it is. Oh, I actually do not hate this whatsoever. The hairs on the brush are still kind of coming off, but I think that's just the aesthetic that they're going for. I'm just gonna dab the back of the beauty blender very lightly so the lines kind of blend together. There is, it does look a little splotchy, the contour, but that's okay. I mean, we will work with it. So now that the base is pretty much done, we're gonna go in with that translucent setting powder and we're gonna set the face. It also does come with a little puff, which is really nice. I don't think I'm gonna be using that because I really wanted to use, oh, they have a heart one too, how cute is that? But I really wanted to use this little puff to set my under eyes because I think that would make it a lot more precise. We're just gonna go ahead and put some of that into the little container right here. And now we're gonna use this little puff to just set under the eyes and then we'll use a bigger brush to set the rest of the face. Um, so far, I do not like this powder. You can just see the powder particles sitting on top of the concealer, which as you guys know, is one of my biggest pet peeves in a powder if that happens. But I mean, it is setting it, but I also can't tell if it's the concealer that's making it look weird or if the powder is weird, I don't know. And then for the rest of the face, we're just gonna grab another brush and kind of just press it in to other parts that need blurring. The face is looking extremely cakey. I don't know if you guys can see. I look like a drywall right now. That's like the best way I can describe it. But since my lips are now kind of drying out, we're gonna use the little lip oil. I actually have no idea what the brand is. Honestly, when I think of a lip oil, this is exactly the formula I think of. I mean, it did change the color of my lips, which makes me think this is pH balance. I honestly don't love pH balance because my pH looks like this. It is very hydrating though, so I do not mind that lip oil. But now let's go ahead and move on to the eyebrows. We're using that same Jessamo, just I'm saying it different every time. That's crazy. I don't really know. I saw this and I thought it was really cool 
but I also don't know what to <laughs> really do with it. Do I dip it? Oh, I dip it. Oh, wow, I'm so smart. And you kind of just lightly brush it. It's not my brow shade, but I mean, I don't hate this. I completely forgot I need to brush out my brows before I do this because I did not do that. Oh my God, let's, it's gonna be enough of that. <laughs> what did I do? That's horrible. Uh, hello. I'm just gonna grab a spoolie I do not care about and just see if I can make this somewhat work. It also doesn't help that my eyebrows are completely uneven. Oh my God. Like the lips and the brows are not working for me right now. I honestly think this is the best we're gonna get. So let's move on to the eyeshadow palette. This is Angel Embossed Eyeshadow. Love that. I'm just gonna grab that same beauty blender and use the excess and put it on my eyelids so I have some kind of a base for the eyeshadow. I don't know if this is a face palette. I don't know why some shades are bigger than the others, but I think we're just gonna go in with this like little transition shade here. It's actually not terrible so far, but it's also just the transition shade. What did I dip into? Did I dip into the other one? Uh-oh. Let's dip in to this shade right here. It's kind of like a brown mauve or some sort. Where are you, pigment? Okay, it's kind of doing something. I can't tell if I hate the brush or if I hate the palette. I have to dig deep into this palette to even get some kind of pigment out of it. I'm just gonna go in with a darker shade right here and put that on my outer corner to give kind of a smoky eye, but oh god, I hate this. I actually hate this so much. It's pretty much impossible to blend and it also just left this white stripe that is not gonna get covered up. And I'm gonna grab one of these gorgeous shimmer shades and add a little bit of shimmer. See now, why why is the shimmer shade good and everything else isn't? Can you guys see that? That actually looks amazing. It did kind of just save the eyeshadow look though, so I'm not complaining. So before mascara, I actually did want to use the highlighter. This is an icy highlighter. I'm actually kind of excited. Oh, okay, so I mean, it's very glittery. It's pretty much just like putting glitter on your cheekbone and calling it that. If you guys like just pretty much glitter as highlighter, then you will absolutely love this. But if you like some kind of base, what is the word for that? If you like some kind of glow and blinding effect, then this is definitely not for you. If I was into just like glitter highlighter, then I feel like I would like that, but that's not really my thing, so I don't love it. But the mascara is what I was really looking forward to try. Uh, oh my god, I've never seen a wand like this. Like, you can't even see where the wand starts. Oh my god, it's very lengthening. I wouldn't say it's volumizing, but it's definitely very lengthening. It's just so hard to control since the wand is so flimsy. It feels like a spring, <laughs> almost. I actually don't hate the wand for my bottom lashes, but for my top, I just think it's kind of weird. The concealer is creasing just a little bit, but honestly, with the application, I'm not that surprised. This is the mascara. It's very messy. This is super difficult to control, and I don't know. It's definitely not the worst, but it's also not the best. Okay, so one of my camera lights just died. So hopefully you guys can still see my face, but you can kind of see the contour, the blush, and the highlighter. They don't kind of mesh together, which kind of sucks. It doesn't look terrible, especially considering the whole face was like 40 bucks. These are the lip products we're gonna be trying out. These are the Honey Lipstick Box Set. Guys, I think I found the new dupe for the Tarte Maracujas. See? Love it. Hmm, nope. <laughs> Don't like that. Oh, they're all different colors. Okay. Okay, let's get rid of that. Thank goodness I got another box of lip oils because that, it couldn't have ended like that. You know, like there had to be something else. I think the pink one would be fitting to try. And if this doesn't look good, I think I'm just gonna end off the video and just like never come back. No, I'm kidding. So I'm gonna go ahead and try out the pink lip oil. 
That's actually really pretty. And it adds such a pretty sparkle on my lips. I actually kind of like that. I'm glad the lips kind of came together, at least at some point, but this is the full face. It's definitely not terrible, but I've definitely had better full faces in my lifetime, but for 40 bucks, I mean, you cannot really complain, but there were some good products that I tried out. For example, the blush. I did really enjoy the blush a lot, but the contour on the other side wasn't as pigmented, but the blush was a lot more pigmented, which is weird because they're in the same palette. There are some cakey spots, which I don't think you guys can see, but when you look close up, you can definitely see the powder particles kind of sitting on top of my skin. It doesn't kind of mesh in, but you can't really complain. There are some good products that I did find. The mascara did kind of trip me out because it's just, this is so weird to me, but for my bottom lashes, I think it's kind of good. I do like a thinner wand, but when I meant thinner, I didn't mean like, that then. But yeah, guys, that is my full face of makeup from the TikTok shop. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments down below any other full face makeup brands you guys want me to do because I absolutely love filming these videos. And even though sometimes I don't end up loving the final result, it's just really fun to discover new makeup products and even find products that I end up loving. And I did realize I completely forgot to take off this headband. Whoops. But anyways, I love you all so much. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.